I'll be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed. The rains came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It's perfect for me. And with a swoop of his shiny axe, the first tree fell. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It's perfect for me. And with a swoop of his mighty axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for mighty kings. The third tree felt his heart sink when the last woodcutter looked his way. He stood straight and tall and pointed bravely toward heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he said. And with a swoop of his axe, the third tree <coughs> fell. The first tree was happy when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter shop. But the carpenter made him into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was covered not with gold, but with sawdust and was filled with hay for hungry animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard. But no mighty ship was made that day. Instead, the once tall, strong tree was sawed and hammered into a simple fishing boat. Too small and weak to sail on an ocean or even a river. Instead, he was taken to a little lake. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut him into strong beams and left him in the woodyard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountain top and point to God. Many days and nights passed. The three trees had forgotten all about their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the feed box that was once the first tree as a young woman placed her new York newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother smiled and squeezed his hand as starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly, the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the small fishing boat that was made from the second tree. The tired traveler fell asleep. The little boat quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon, a thundering and crashing storm arose. The little boat shuddered. He knew he didn't have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened, stood up, stretched out his hands and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. And suddenly, the little boat that was once the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when his beams were yanked from the forgotten pile. He flinched as he was made into a cruel cross and carried through an angry, jeering crowd. He shuddered when the soldiers nailed a man's hands to his beams. He felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the third tree strong, and every time people thought of the cross that used to be the third tree, they would think of God. So whenever you see a Christmas tree, remember the three trees and realize that God may have something better for you too. Amen.